Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on how to access SAS Studio. SAS, also known as Statistical Analysis System, is a powerful software suite for data management, analysis and reporting. It is widely used in biostatistics and clinical research because of its versatility and reliability. One of the main strengths of SAS is its ability to handle large and complex data sets, which is extremely important. Usually biostatistical studies often involve analyzing data from multiple sources such as clinical trials, ob observation studies, electronic health records. SAS can efficiently manage and merge all of these data sets, clean data sets, manipulate data sets, handle missing data, impute missing data, and perform data cleaning and validation. SAS also offers a wide range of statistical procedures, including complex regression modeling, survival analysis, mixed modeling. These procedures are extremely well documented and reliable in SAS. In fact, SAS was released prior to the release of R. And users uh, can highly customize their analyses and models in SAS, which is why it is an extremely popular software. Another advantage of SAS is its ability to generate high quality graphics and reports. So this is particularly important in biostatistics where data visualization is essential to understand and communicate results. So overall, this is an amazing tool for biostatistical computing because it is efficient, reliable and versatile. And its wide range of features and capabilities are what we as researchers, data analysts and statisticians are looking for. SAS is a, used to be a paid subscription software. However, the SAS on demand for academics, which has been released by SAS ha, is a game changer. So the entire suite of analyses have been provided by SAS completely online. So now you, anybody, can access SAS Studio online, create their account, sign in, and enjoy the range of features offered by SAS. So if you don't have a SAS profile, follow the, uh, follow the link, create a SAS profile, and log into your account. In the next video, we will look at how the SAS interface looks like and how we can start performing analyses in SAS. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.